Hello everyone, it's me again, the Retro Gaming Goth, and I am back with another video Yu Gi Oh battle for you guys. And it's round two of me versus Marcel with his Sacred Beast cards against my U Bell deck. If you like this video, be sure to like, share, like, share, subscribe, and comment on my channel, Retro Gaming Goth. If you like the video, uh, be sure to mention that you want to see something like this again in the nearby future. If not, I have other decks that I have shown off, so be sure to mention it to me so I know that uh, you guys would like to see these uh, type of decks in action again. So, I beat this guy last time, uh, and obviously if, I, if anyone saw my last video, I'm doing this duel in uh, honour of the new set of these support that are coming out later on, hopefully this year. And uh, we'll see how we go with this duel today. Hmm. I wish I could say not a bad start, but it seems like I'm repeating the same scenario as I did last time. Okay, so he's got three cards face down. No doubt all trap cards. Yep, there's one. Any more? No? Okay, fine. So, I've got Montage Dragon in my hand. I need one more Dark Monster to special summon it. Well, I say one more Dark Monster, I actually need one more monster in general, but it looks like I'm not even going to get that. <sighs> well, that's just unlucky. Because I've got all three U Bell cards in my hand. Well, I did have all three, I just had to banish one to keep my entire hand. But had I been able to keep those cards, I could have sent them all to the grave and special summon my Montage Dragon. Which would have had a crap ton of attack points. Yep, okay, you can special summon your swamp mirror thing on your... Oh, your metal reflex now. Okay, you can do all that, I don't care. Actually, I kind of do care, because with three continuous track cards, that means Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames, will be coming onto the field anytime soon. Probably right now, if I'm lucky. If I'm not so lucky, then damn. Yep. Predicted it, and here it is. Well... I'm not giving you the opportunity to destroy this card, so activate it. Got the same defense power as Uriah's attack power, so that's not too bad. Monster in defense, no doubt another card. Do you know this duelist is becoming more predictable by the minute? Well, that's just my dumb luck. I'm literally one monster away from summoning Montage Dragon, and what do I get? Zilch. But on the upside, if I do summon Montage Dragon, it'll have more than enough attack power to wipe out Marcel's life points. Ah, yes, I completely forgot about the Rise Effect. I should not have set that card. He's got two cards in the back row. Yes, at last. Now, I've got the, I've got the defense, so let's summon out the attack. Montage Dragon. He's now got more than enough power to destroy the Lord of Searing Flames. Ah, oh, come on, seriously? Well, that hurt quite a lot. But no matter, his, his Uriah still doesn't have near enough attack points to kill my own card. And he doesn't have the resources to summon out another Sacred Beast, so I might be okay. Here's an interesting plan. Let's keep him on the uh, not available to do jack or We'll summon you bell. Only this time I'm going to destroy it with dog hole. Because as soon as you bell goes. Ah, okay, dark ride, that's not helpful. Because I could have summoned this card using your bell. Nah. Question, do I keep my new bell on the field, or do I get rid of it? Or do I get rid of my uh, metal reflex line? Do you know what? I'm not going to do it. Because if I don't summon the monster next turn, then I've lost both monsters, and then Uriah is free to attack me directly. I've still got somewhat of the advantage. Well, maybe not, but... It's a pretty, it's a pretty even standoff. His Uriah has got three thousand attack, while my Metal Reflex has got three thousand defense. So, as long as he doesn't summon another Sacred Beast, I should be okay. I am literally one monster away from summoning that Montage. But why would I want to do that? I could summon Dark Arm Dragon right now. Right, so let's get rid of the Ultimate Nightmare. Take out Uriah. Support 
Hand squad activates and he gets two cards. Probably shouldn't have let him do that. Right, now I don't know what his face down card is, so let's get rid of it. That's not going to make a difference, is it? It's going to get destroyed. Yeah, thought so. Right. Now, I can't allow him to summon Hamon, so get rid of my third U belt and get rid of one of the supply squads. Should have got him rid of the supply squad first, and then I wouldn't have had to worry about taking out his monster and him drawing two cards, because he'd only have one supply squad. So why didn't I just destroy the supply squad first and then go for your wire? Thus he would have only drawn one card instead of drawing two, and now he's got three cards in his hand. So if he plays another continuous spell, then he's going to summon Hamon. Oh, maybe not. Okay, that benefit, that's better for me, I suppose. Uh, I could use a little bit, but I'm going to save it. Come dragon. Kill the mother! Right, one more attack from this card, and then it's game over, and my deck will be the superior one. I've managed to take out the Sacred Beast enough times now. I still haven't... I, you know what? I haven't even gone up against Raphael or his, his fusion card, so... Is it really fair for me to say, yes, I beat this deck? Well, yeah. Because at the end of the day, I have beaten this deck. Okay, Dark on Dragon, go for the kill. Okay. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, terrific. No, no point replaying the attack. I can't get past it. Oh, well. I guess this duel's going on a bit longer. I could have summoned the calculator, but I don't want to run the risk of summoning uh, a monster that could very easily overwhelm him, but also destroy me at the same time. Well, I've got three monsters in my hand, but considering I need to get past this monster and not run the risk of using up all my resources, I'm just going to summon the calculator. And let's see if I can get over his metal reflex in there. Easily done. And he's going to draw two cards. Now, let's see if he can stop my Dark Arm Dragon. Turns out he can! This is becoming quite the annoying type of duel because he's actually able... He's still able to stop me. It would be quite amusing if you summon Haman right about now. One more continuous spell card and then Haman? No, a face down card. Two face down cards. You going for a third? No. Okay. Right. Still got plenty more, plenty of monsters hot on the field. If those two face downs are continuous traps, then no, it's a battle favor. Nice. You know what? This door's going out longer than I expected. I'm gonna have to try and end this as quickly as possible. Two continuous traps. <laughs> you know the irony about this is, he's got two face-up trap cards, he's got two face-up spell cards, and he's got one fiend monster. Hmm. It's a pity you can only play so many of your sacred beast cards in the deck. He had DNA surgery, this will be Raphael right now, but he's he's got nothing on me. Well, I've got to get past all three of those monsters, so let's summon another Mystic Tomato. Let's get past these cards. Right, first off, we'll go against you. I'm gonna have to win this battle soon. I can't make this video any longer than it already is. Get past you, and we'll get past you. You know, this duel could have been over ages ago. Well, actually, no, it couldn't have even a scenario that wouldn't have mattered. You know, I'm actually waiting for him to play another Sacred Beast. But at the same time, I don't want him to do it. Now, what's he going to do with that? How much attack points? Chuffing, good job. That, that car can't inflict battle damage. And the effect only stays on the field for a turn, so that's kind of helpful. Well, looks like it's game over. Unless he can stop this, I'd be well surprised if he does. Okay, so it's just going to summon another monster, so this duel's more or less over now. Because that don't make a blind bit of difference to me. Oh well, I guess this duel's over. Well, if you like the video, be sure to like, share, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all next time.